Aloha. Welcome to today's live stream. My name is Master Paul, and I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. Today is the first day of December, and it is a Thursday. And I'm honored to be with you here today, day four of a five-day series on reversing negativity. The last four days have been very, very powerful. The first day was working with self-esteem and how our lower self-esteem or lower self-worth creates a great deal of negativity in our life. The next day we focused on reversing negativity in the form of confidence and how we have low confidence, low self-worth, etc. Today we're going to be focusing on a very important aspect that shows up in our life in a very subtle way and that is the need for approval and the more subtle version of that which is a lack a fear of abandonment. This shows up in our life in a variety of ways uh, oftentimes it's very very subtle um, it's not something that is um, let's say seen in a very obvious manner because it becomes a pattern in our life And so today we're going to reveal some of those patterns and we're going to reveal the different ways that it shows up for us <clears throat> Excuse me And so as uh, we tend continue to gather uh, people for this live stream um, I want to talk a little bit more about the nature of this um, uh, this week this uh, last in, in the United States, we have voted in a new president and it has created a great deal of, of uh, irritation, a great deal of negativity and animosity. And uh, I don't go down any political road. I just look at the overall energetics and the um, emotions that it has brought. And it has created both discord and separation and it has created unification. It's quite interesting to observe. But from the perspective of negativity and how it's impacting us, a great deal of us are, are starting to become more aware of the, um, <clears throat> what I like to call the frequencies and the energies of the planet, but what others might call the, the basic troubles that are happening on the planet. And so when we are working with the imbalances that are occurring on the planet at this time, we must take care of ourselves. We must be very self-responsible for the different ways that those things outside of us are impacting our world. And so that is the purpose of this series in working with reversing negativity so that we can awaken to the different ways in which we can at least have some level of control over how the outside world is impacting us and how we have allowed it to impact us. So you look at today's subject, for example, uh, looking for the need for approval and the fear of abandonment. <clears throat> These are absolutely things from the outside that we have allowed in. We allow them in because in at some point in our soul journey, it has served our soul journey. It has allowed us to move forward with some degree of, uh, of um, strength, I guess is a good way to put it. But it is a false strength. And when we can see how we have set up these false strengths, these negative patterns that are not serving our soul journey, then we can go about reversing them and bring about a much, much more healthy uh, existence for ourselves. And so I will be utilizing the wisdom, the tools, and the techniques that Dr. and Master Shah has brought to humanity. Dr. and Master Shah speaks from the nature of soul. And he explains that when you heal things at the level of soul first, then the mind and the body will follow. And so we will be using some of his wisdom and teachings. We will be using some of the healing tools that he has brought to us that are very, very efficacious to help us release um, these long standing blockages that we hold on to that keep us in a place of repeat cycles where we're not moving forward the way we'd really like to. So I want to stop and acknowledge everyone that's joined us here today. So welcome Petra Marie, welcome Carol. Um, good to see both of you. Mahalo. Love, I love hearing uh, the uh, Hawaiian language. Welcome Shannon. Welcome Donna Boana. Welcome Michelle. And Kristen, always uh, coming in there. Welcome Kristen Rojas as well. <coughs> CJ, coming in from the uh, Philippines, I believe. Uh, Thomas Schmidt, good to see you Thomas. And then uh, Tawana. Welcome again, Tawana. You're uh, uh, always showing up. Carol, good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Welcome, Amy. 
again, haven't seen you in a little while. Good to see you, Amy. And Johnny's coming in from wherever he is in the world, traveling all over on the uh, cruise lines. Welcome, Nancy. Buni, is it Buni or Buni? I'm not quite sure how to spell that. And she's here with Sylvia, so welcome, Sylvia, as well. And Monica. Welcome, Sarah Lance. Linda Jansen, and welcome Dvorka and her daughter. Welcome Barka. And uh, Master Francisco has joined us. Welcome Master Francisco. Welcome uh, CJ again. Let's see, Booney. Teresa Brown, good to see you. Chelsea. And Mary Bosick's jumped in there. Okay, so if I haven't mentioned your name, I apologize. I haven't seen your name pop up. But as Master Shaw teaches, if your name's not mentioned, more virtue. So let us connect heart to heart, soul to soul first by placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. I see that the internet's a little choppy right now, so hopefully that'll balance out. So soul light, soul service hand position is a hand mudra. We start by placing our hands uh, in a prayer position, and then we drop the left hand in front of the heart center, keeping the right hand remain pointed towards the heavenly realms. Close your eyes. And then uh, just receive at this time. Dear beloved divine, all layers of the divine, the Tao and the source, dear creator, dear master Shah, we love you, we honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. We're deeply honored and grateful for this opportunity to receive the wisdom, guidance, and blessings that Dr. and Master Shah has brought to humanity to serve all those that have joined us on the, the video live streaming today and all those that will watch this in the future. We ask heaven, all layers of divine Tao and source, all masters, ascended masters, lamas, sifus, and gurus. We ask the saints, the saints' animals. We invite the souls of the angels, healing angels, and archangels, Buddhas and bodhisattvas, lamas. And we invite all of you to please come to sit in our message centers today, to bless us, to open our heart and soul, to see where we are searching out the need for approval, and acting on the fear of abandonment as it allows us to separate from our alignment with the divine. It keeps us in a place of weakness and a place of negativity instead of a place of empowerment and positivity. We're very grateful for this opportunity to receive your guidance, wisdom, and blessings. Do the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you. We ask at this time that you please turn on and we invite all souls and all universes to chant with us as we offer this unconditional service. For those of you that are not familiar with this song or are new to it, please feel free to keep your eyes closed and receive the blessings. Everybody else, we keep our eyes closed and we chant and offering this service. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin her ling. Wo ai tran ran lei. Wang li hing rong. Her mu shi shang, song ai ping an he xie, song ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul, I love all humanity, join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin her ling. Wo ai tren ren lei. Wang li hing rong. 
儿暮时生。双爱平安和谐，双爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace. And harmony, love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how! Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, welcome everybody. I'm very excited. We're seeing a lot of a、uh, lot of returns coming back today.、I、haven't seen some of you in a while. I'm very happy to see you back here. Um, so I want to acknowledge those I haven't acknowledged yet. Welcome, Kayla, darling, and family.、Uh, welcome, Sh、uh, Shari. Welcome, Esther and Yvonne. Welcome also, Patrice and Tatiana. Good to see you all. Welcome, Monica and Rena and Chelsea. So,、uh, if you haven't done so already, please hit the share button. Allow other people to be aware of this. Uh, the, apparently, this subject of reversing negativity is hitting a lot of people's、um, buttons. Because I have received a, a lot of response to this week's live streams,、uh, and a lot of it is after the fact. Over a thousand views yesterday on、uh, yesterday's live stream, and what it mean, what it says is that the subject matter is very, very relevant to people at this time in their life. They are experiencing from a lot of different angles negativity. It could be coming through relationships. It could be coming from some tensions around the workplace. It could be coming from the outside and fears and unrest around the political nature of things and how it might impact a person's future, their livelihood, their sense of security.、Uh, negativity can approach us from many different angles. This week, I have been focusing on the internal aspects of it because even though it comes at us from the outside. Uh, we have control over how we allow that information in by taking care of ourselves first, and we're going to do that by becoming aware of where the blockages show up in our life. So, as I mentioned earlier this week, I focused on a couple of different key areas, including、um, low self-esteem. We worked on that on Monday, and then we worked on reversing negative self-talk on Tuesday. That、uh, that was very very powerful. I I offered a a distant remote crown chakra blessing, and the、uh, young lady who was blessed to have received that、uh, commented the next day how she felt substantially more grounded,、uh, centered, and able to move forward with life decisions that she had been vacillating on for well over a year, and this had to do with her moving forward on her educational path and making better choices so that she could be more stabilized. And this is what happens when we remove the negative ways that these things show up in our life.、Um, yesterday we focused on boosting and building self-confidence, and all three of these days I transmitted to you through the book that Master Cha has brought to us,、uh, Dao Song Dao Dance, the、um, Dao Light Soul Mind Body,、uh, excuse me, Dao Light. Jindan of Dao Light and Dao Liquid Springs, and I will offer that again today to all those that did not receive it, because we will be using this Dao Light to help transform these incredible blockages that we have received、uh, throughout our lifetimes with the karma, and we sometimes need this higher frequency to transform these blockages because they just seem so overwhelming at times. And one of the, the the common sense things to understand about why soul healing works and why the wisdom that Doctor Master Shah has brought to us brings such great、um, healing to us is because of the nature of、uh, Shen Qianjing blockages. Shen Qianjing blockages are karmic in nature. They、uh, they come through our lineage and our own ch choices and actions from many lifetimes. If we try to deal with them at the physical, worldly level, with what we have,、um, it's very difficult because they're literally all around us and, and surrounding us, all of our blockages. And so, how can we heal them at the level that they're coming at us at? 
it's much more difficult. However, if you use earth frequencies, higher frequencies to transform human frequencies, you're going to have more success. If you use heaven's frequencies, you'll have even more success. If you use divine frequencies, even higher success and Tao frequencies, wow, now you're really making some real transformation in your life. So we're extremely blessed that Dr. and Master Shah has brought these frequencies to humanity and he transmits them in the form of the calligraphies. He transmits them into power, into the books. If you don't have his books, please go out and pick up any one of them. The, uh, they almost always carry extraordinary power in them. Even his image carries power. But um, these are ways in which we can elevate uh, through our blockages. So the subject today is altering, transforming the need for approval and an underpinning which is fear of abandonment. <laughs> now these are psychological terms. Master Shah and his teachings don't go into psychological terms. But in terms of negativity, why do they fall into that category? Because they keep us from having a positive and self-fulfilling life. And so in order to transform them, we must become aware of their source. So what I'd like to do with, to start out with is offer a divine flow uh, to find out what the source is of these main culprits in our life. And then we can identify what some of the solutions are as well. And of course we will apply these higher frequencies of the Tao light to transform them. I want to uh, offer a little nugget of wisdom as well for you to be aware of. If you review yesterday's postings or the day before uh, on my page, if you review any of the videos, you'll see as you go through the comments uh, a picture of some of the divine services that are being offered to transform negativity much, much faster. I'll touch on that more uh, at the end of the uh, of the live stream today. But if you're just suffering a lot and you just want it out of your life quickly, then take a look at, at some of the things I'm doing for the Divine Services posted on yesterday's post and I'll post it a little bit later today as well. So um, let me connect now and then we'll offer Divine Flow as to the nature of the fear of abandonment and the need for approval. So dear Divine Tao, dear Source, dear the soul of the need for approval, the soul of fear of abandonment, the soul of how to reverse this um, self-deprecating negativity, the source of these mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs, and what we can do to resolve them. I love you. I honor you. I deeply appreciate you. Can you please choose a spokesperson, borrow my mouth, and allow me to serve all these souls that are watching at this time with whatever guidance is most pertinent, relevant, and appropriate for them to hear regarding this subject matter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My beloved children, this is the soul of Jesus. This one speaking on my behalf was quite concerned about mentioning that it was I who wished to share at this time because of how it may be received by those who hear the message. Regardless, I have come to offer guidance at this time. I witness such tremendous suffering of all of humanity as a result of their separation from their and my Father Creator. I went through many and much of the same processes that most of you are currently in to become what you term a saint. It is not easy to overcome lifetimes 
of this type of self-communication and suffering. So I wish to offer you some insights from my lifetimes of learning. The first thing, the most important thing to understand is that you are never separate from your beloved Father, God. It is in this separation that the need for approval and the fear of abandonment is born. It is in this reuniting that the fear of abandonment is healed and the need for approval is washed away. And so I focused all of my lifetimes to return fully and completely to the heart of my beloved Father. This was accomplished by seeing His love in each moment, even the ones that were painful. It is most important to walk in His love, however it shows up in your life. To be aware, to see through the eyes of the divine as the child is born and as the car accident occurs with the same open heart is not so easy but I have come to do that because I have come to recognize that all things are in divine timing and divine guidance and if I and or you have suffered it is as a result of what we have brought to ourselves it is in the realigning to the heart of the divine that I was able to overcome the fear of abandonment and the need for approval. You can attain the same alignment. You can call me your beloved Jesus. I will come. I will serve you. You can call any of the heavenly beings. They are dedicated to serve all humanity. Most importantly is awareness in each moment. To catch yourself searching for approval and instead recognize that your beloved Creator has never once beset you, has never once stated that you are unworthy of His full and complete and unconditional love and approval. In this remembering of this truth, you are one step closer to releasing the false teachings and false supportedness that continues through your society. There is not enough words in the English language to fully express my deep love for all of you. And I emphasize again to call upon me and I will uplift you in those moments through and past your moments of suffering that you can see the purity of your beloved Creator's love is my greatest wish. I love you all with the greatest of all that I am. This is your beloved Jesus. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you, beloved Master Jesus. I will bow my head nine times to this most incredible soul. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. Always a huge, huge, huge. Um, blessing to have such a great master come through um, huge <laughs> karma cleansing for me <laughs> clearing out stuff so 
Um, so thank you, beloved Jesus. Now, for some of you that might be revelationary, for some of you it might be uh, remembering, ah, uh, yes, I know this. For some of you it might be um, earth-shaking because uh, how is it possible that such a great being could offer a message as such through a regular Joe? Um, regardless of that, the message has purity. If it touched your heart, if it assists you to open your heart more, to be a better service to your own soul journey, then it is a pure message and a message of value to you. So let us apply some of the uh, tools that our beloved Dr. Master Shah has brought to us to serve you to help transform the blockages that have shown up in our lives. Now on this subject matter of the need for approval and the fear of abandonment, I catch myself um, even recently at the, at the most recent retreat um, other other masters names are mentioned and even before coming there's this hope that I will be mentioned or uplifted and this is an example of a need for approval this is obviously not imbalance and I'm telling you so that you know that it doesn't matter what label is put in front of a person's name, you know, Master Paul, blah, blah, blah. It's just a label. It says that I'm on a path of purification and I'm just a little bit higher on that path than some others. And if I serve unconditionally, then I might have the opportunity to be a better servant and be more humble. But there's no way I will ever be uplifted if I carry around this perspective of please, you know, please see me, um, please uplift me. And so I am constantly looking at the different areas in which I am looking for approval. And when it comes up for me, the first thing I do is I ask for forgiveness because I recognize it's an ego-based response. It's a response that's built in because it says that I am not accepting God's love. I am not accepting uh, the purity of the divine's love that has been around me and you and all souls in a 100% effect since our birth, since our original creation. We have, God is always with us. We are far from God. You have heard this before. So this is another example of that. And so when we um, stop and catch ourselves and recognize that this separation uh, we have allowed into our life and we must, we must transform it, the first thing is awareness. So when I catch myself, I do forgiveness practice. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, dear my own soul, please forgive me for this ego response of this need for approval. Uh, please bless me to align more and more to the Divine's heart and soul and to see the Divine's unconditional love for me in every aspect of life. And then I chant a little bit. So this is a, a lot of what we're going to be doing today, but this is a, a quick and simple example. And touching on the fear of abandonment, on a personal level, I, I can't say that I've had that, so I'm not speaking from personal experience on this. But an observational level, I see that it has a lot to do with um, not trusting self. And when I say that, what I mean is, if we trust ourselves, there was the the, the image that I put out today with the with the um, uh, calling to come to today's Facebook live stream. It was a picture of a bird on a branch, and it said. The bird doesn't worry about the branch breaking uh, from the heavy weight of the snow. It knows that its wings can uplift itself. So it, it doesn't even think about the branch that it sits on. It just says, I can trust my own wings. This is an example of fear of abandonment and the opposite of it. So we have to be able to trust our own wings, so to speak. How do we do that? We do that by acknowledging our divine self and the Divine Creator and moving more and closer to that. How do we get there? By recognizing that all that has kept us from there is our Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages, emotional blockages, mental blockages, however they show up in our life, and by transforming them with higher frequencies. Okay? So we're going to start by, I'm going to deliver a, um, a blessing to you that we're very blessed to receive from Dr. and Master Shah. Uh, as, as I have indicated before, but to anybody new, I'll, I'll mention it for the first time. Uh, Dr. Master Shah is a world-renowned healer and world-respected. Uh, he has written over 20 books, and 
10 of which have reached New York Times bestsellers, four of which are reached number one. That cannot be accidental. And this master, uh, because of his dedication to serve humanity, since the age of four has been growing up in the heart of service and being trained by very special uh, beings and deities. And then he received the authority to become what's called a divine channel vehicle and servant. And that was about 17, 18 years ago. And since then, he has been given higher and higher authorities to serve humanity. Well over 100,000 healing miracles worldwide. Um, and uh, as he has been elevated by the divine, um, he puts his head lower to the ground. And he continually tells us, I'm not doing it, divine's doing it, I'm just your servant. But as a servant, he has been given the authority and ability to transmit power into things like books. And so what he does is he's transmitted into these books um, what's called Jindan transmissions. Um, Jindan is a light ball. And so uh, light balls can be human level frequency, earth level frequency, heaven level frequency, God level frequency, and creator level frequency. And so what he has given to us is a way to transform our frequencies. The simple way of looking at it is if you have a, a hot water and cold water, and the human in our problems represent a bottle of cold water, you start pouring in higher frequencies like hot water, and pretty soon it becomes a new temperature, and pretty soon our frequency rises up to the hot water or the higher frequency. This is how we dissolve these life-based blockages that we're so constantly dealing with. This is how we remove them in the least painful way with the greatest rapidity, okay? So what I'm going to offer you is from Dr. Master Shah's books, and you're welcome to go out and get his own books and receive these transmissions yourself. Uh, I'm very blessed that I can offer this to you. And so this is only for those that are interested in receiving. For those that have received in the last few days, they'll get a little boost. For those of you that have not received this, then you are very blessed. If it's not something you're interested in receiving, then please just say out loud to heaven, I'm not interested in receiving this at this time. And then of course you will not. Okay? So this is a light ball. So prepare to receive. And I will prepare uh, and offer this in just a moment. Prepare through the authorities given to me as a divine channel, Master Shah's Tao order, Tao golden light ball, and golden liquid spring of Tao light, gold soul, mind, and body transplants to all those watching this video at this time as appropriate. Sit up straight, keep your eyes closed, notice if you feel anything, prepare, transmission, divine order, join as one, transmission, turn on 24-7, transmission, how, 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 we are all very blessed, I invite you to bow your head nine times to the divine, to the Tao, to the source for this incredible opportunity. Uh, there's just not enough time to go into the significance of this light ball. I can briefly tell you that it is not just for this practice today. It is an extraordinary healing instrument and you can use it throughout your life to serve your family, your loved ones, yourself for any condition regardless of what it is. You honor it. You're the source Tao light ball and Tao light liquid springs. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Please turn on. Please help to bless da 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 da. We're going to do that now as a practice. We're going to start with forgiveness practice, okay? So, for those of you that are not familiar with forgiveness practice, this is a core foundation of Dr. Master Shah's wisdom and teachings. That if we're to release our Shen Qi Jing blockages, which are karmic blockages, we must start with forgiveness. So, I will lead you in a forgiveness practice. Please um, repeat after me. And then we will use this Tao light ball and Tao liquid springs to transform our blockages. Close your eyes. Repeat after me. Dear beloved divine Tao and source, and my creator, I love you, I honor you, and I truly appreciate you. Please forgive me for not 
seeing that you have always been with me. Please forgive me for not acknowledging the love that you shower upon me in every moment of my existence. Please forgive me for looking outside for the need for approval when all I needed to do was align to the constant love that you are showering upon me. Please forgive me my fear of abandonment. Dear all souls in this and all lifetimes, if I or my ancestors have spoken to you in such a way that you have felt a fear of abandonment, if we have physically left you and created such fears, if I or my ancestors have caused you to search out a need for approval, I truly and sincerely apologize. If I, as a parent or peer or teacher, had not taught you well to align your heart and soul to the divine and instead to seek outside for approval, I deeply and sincerely apologize. I will do better. I have learned my lessons. I will serve first my own soul journey to align to the divine and to release these false needs, to accept the divine's love and stop looking outside of myself for that which has always been inside. I ask the divine, the Tao and the source to please offer whatever blessings is appropriate that I can transform these blockages of negativity and become more positive and aligned to your heart and soul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep your eyes closed. Continue to repeat after me. Dear the Tao, light, soul, mind, body, transplant of Tao light and Tao liquid springs, Jindan, I love you. Truly, I'm deeply grateful for you coming to my soul. I ask for at this time that you turn on to help me transform my need for approval and any fear of abandonment that I might be holding on to. Please transform any negativity that I have into positivity. I am very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And with your eyes closed, placing one palm on your lower abdomen and one palm over your heart center, we will chant, Tao Golden Light Ball releases my need for approval. Tao Golden Light Ball releases my need for approval. Tao Golden Light Ball releases my need for approval. Tao Golden Light Ball releases my need for approval. Tao Golden Light Ball releases my need for approval. See this golden light ball in the middle of your heart center and it's spinning very brightly and it's just completely showering your heart center, releasing these blockages. Thou golden light ball releases my need for approval. Thou golden light ball releases my need for approval. Thou golden light ball releases my needs for approval. Thou golden light ball releases my need for approval. Thou golden light ball releases fear of abandonment. Thou golden light ball releases fear of abandonment. Thou golden light ball releases fear of abandonment. Thou golden light ball <coughs> releases fear of abandonment. 
Thou golden light ball releases fear of abandonment. Thou golden light ball releases fear of abandonment. Thou golden light ball releases fear of abandonment. Thou golden liquid springs turns negativity into positivity. Thou golden liquid springs transforms negative to positivity. Thou golden liquid springs transforms negative into 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 positivity. Continue to chant and I will offer a reading and third eye images. Thou continue to chant. At this time, each of those that are present and watching are receiving beyond measurable blessings. Each of you has more saints and saints' animals than can be counted surrounding your physical being. They are in a dance, and they are dancing in, through, and out of your heart center. They are releasing with the greatest of love, the greatest of Tao light, the Shen Qi and Jing blockages, lifetimes of holding on to fear of abandonment, negative memories of being left behind from conditions beyond your control. Some of you were children that were orphaned some of you lost loved ones to war. There were many that had great fear that had been carried forth through lifetimes. And these are all being smoothed, loved, and gently released by the Tao light as you continue to chant. There is tremendous blessings being brought to you by the levels of the Tao because your desire to be of service to humanity has been heard and there is recognition that these blockages are inhibiting you from being the pillar of strength that is necessary to be all that you desire to be. Thou golden liquid springs releases negativity. Thou golden liquid springs boosts my positivity. Thou golden liquid springs releases negativity. Thou golden liquid springs boost my positivity. Thou golden liquid springs releases negativity. Thou golden liquid springs boost your positivity. Thou light, thou light, thou light, thou light, thou light heals me. 
Tao light heals me. Tao light heals me. Tao light heals me. Tao light heals me. Tao light heals me. See the Tao light getting brighter and brighter. There's no darkness that can be seen in your heart center. Tao light heals me. Tao light releases. Tao light releases. Tao light releases. Tao light releases. Tao light heals me. Tao light heals me. Tao light heals me. Tao light heals me. Tao light releases. Tao light releases. Tao light releases. Tao light heals me. Tao light releases negativity. 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 Few more times. Tao light heals me. Tao light releases negativity. 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 How, how, how. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So as you're coming back, check in with your body. Check in with your emotions. How are you experiencing your body, your emotions, your energy at this time? What are you noticing? Do you notice any vibration in your palms of your hands or your feet? About the crown of your head? Are you hot? Have you released some of the tension you came in with? compared to this moment. What is your condition now? Please share. And while you're sharing, I want to tell you about some of the ways in which you can bring value to yourself and to loved ones. I'm just about to release another newsletter. And if you haven't already signed up for it, please come to my website in the bottom of every page and sign up for the video newsletter. And I'll be releasing gift certificates. This is a tremendous opportunity to offer a blessing to anybody in your life that is important to you. Some of those people are not so easy to, to honor for or to buy for when it comes to, to Christmas and the holidays. But to offer a gift of a soul reading or a soul healing, soul operation, uh, any of the divine services, crown chakra blessings, healing and transmission systems, they can be done. The, the gift certificates uh, start at 50 and then you can add $25 increments. And I'll be, uh, the website is about uh, six hours from being fully ready, but you can contact me and I can make sure you get taken care of shortly thereafter. Also wanted to let you know that this week is, is focused on releasing negativity. And so I, I put together a special package and I'm going to ask um, Kristen, one of the amazing universal servants that supported me so much, to please post the link to the image. And on this image, it will define what I'm about to tell you. And I'll give you a brief synopsis. There are three choices uh, of divine services that can assist you with transforming negativity and the subjects of this week uh, much, much faster. We can do it using this, um, using this uh, practice step by step by step. And if you do it every day, half hour, hour every day, no question about it, you can transform lifetimes. And it might take you the rest of this life, but you can transform the vast majority of all your lifetimes if you're very consistent. You can also expedite the process by taking advantage of the divine services. So there, for example, is the crown chakra blessing. Uh, you can receive it for boosting and building your self-esteem and releasing those blockages that are inhibiting you from having a higher self-esteem. You can use it for today, for example, for releasing the need for approval and the fear of abandonments. You can use it for boosting positivity and releasing negativity.
So any of the subjects that we have covered this week, you can receive the crown chakra blessing for, and they're only a hundred. It's also an exceptional gift from anybody that you care about that could receive a value from it. There is also what's called the Soul Mind Body Healing and Transmission System. This is the, the king of all the blessings because it comes with uh, a replacement of all of the Shen, Qi, and Jing energy and matter that tends to hold on to these mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs, negative memories. And they follow us from lifetime to lifetime to lifetime sitting at the level of soul. So when you receive the Healing and Transmission System, those blockages are removed brand new karma free energy and matter comes in with new messages of love and light to transform the old and then a light wall protection is offered this combination is extraordinary and it is not limited to this subject matter today it can be used for anything in your life including emotional blockages depression anxiety it can be used for physical pain i can tell you that this is the mercedes benz of all the possible blessings one can receive and the honor fee is very reasonable, it's 300 Now I have developed a package, which I'll tell you about in a minute, which combines all these blessings that I'm telling you step by step. And the package makes all of receiving all of these extremely, extremely uh, exciting. The third blessing is optional. And what it is, is I received just recently the Love Diamond Heart Jindan. And I already own the Open Heart and Soul uh, Calligraphy. And I have the ability to use these to serve you. And by using these two very high level open heart um, um, tools, we can transform blockages very, very quickly. And they again can be for any of the subject matters of this week of all, all aspects of transforming negativity. The honor fee for that is 75. So the big one is 300, the crown chakra is 100, the, the, uh, the other one is 75. And the special that I am allowing for the remainder of this month is that if you do all three, which is normally 475 and totally, all three can be done for 300. So that may or may not be something you can do, but I'm sure that you can do some individually. They can all, of course, be offered as a gift certificate to others. So I wanted to let you know about that, and Kristen did post in the chat the image so you can spell out each of those. On there is my phone number and how you can contact me. I'm always available to any of anybody who uh, wishes to receive guidance and blessings uh, in any way. And um, I, I am here to answer any of the questions that you might have about any subject matter, not just today. So be aware that Dr. and Master Shah is offering free uh, guidance and blessings for the new year. Um, it's complimentary to register. We want to generate 10,000 people this year, so make sure you tell everybody you can think of to go to his website, give him the links. The registration's pretty obvious. You can go there and copy it and put it in an email if you need to. But to receive a blessing for a new year from one of the world's most prolific masters is probably the highest and best blessing you can get for the entire year. So make sure that you register for that. And then also for those that are interested in becoming a Divine Healing Hands Healer, that's available this weekend through Honolulu. Um, you can find that also on the website of Dr. Master Shah. You can contact me and I can walk you through how to register for that. If you're a Divine Healing Hands Healer, it's only $100 to, to uh, be there for the whole three days and you get tremendous wisdom, blessings and of course frequency upliftment possibilities as well as being in the frequency field. Uh, master Jimena will be the lead teacher and she is an extraordinary, extraordinary master to watch. So I invite you all to take advantage of any of these services, anything we've talked about. Contact me through Facebook Messenger. My email is asoulhealer at yahoo.com and of course my website's the same, asoulhealer.com. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be combining all of these in one final um, uh, live stream for reversing negativity. And uh, I, haven't I haven't figured out the focus of the day yet, but I will by tomorrow. So I love you all. I thank you all for coming. And I will see you tomorrow. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Thank you, Heaven Down Source. Bye-bye, everybody.